Okay, so this is the first recording for a pinball game I've made. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a I'm just gonna give you a quick show of it. So that's what I have right now. Then I'll stop it here and I'll kind of explain um, the design decisions around some of the things. Um, so as I told you before, kind of um, a basic pinball table slanted so that obviously the ball comes back to the flippers or whatever. Um, I, but when I tried this in game, it, um, it didn't work quite well because the board moved quite slowly and you know, pinball is quite a fast paced sort of game. So to kind of alleviate that problem, what I did here is um, if we just see this this uh, part over here, the default speed essentially dictates kind of how fast the ball will move towards the flippers, let's say. So I've just added an impulse in the direction of minus 2000, constantly using the event tick in the y direction. So the ball will constantly be trying to go in the y direction during the entirety of the game. Um, now, when I implemented this, it was, it was great because it meant the ball was kind of coming down towards the player constantly and that was really, really cool. Um, one of the other um, problems I found was that if the ball was to bump into something, or if I had a slanted slope somewhere, then the ball would kind of fly away. Um, so to to remedy that problem, um, I've used something called line trace. And what I've done is I've put a line trace in the Z direction um, on the ball actor. And to that, I've added a constant impulse in the z direction so going downwards and i just called that table stickiness to, to dictate how sticky the ball is to the table um and that va that value can constantly be changed the higher the value is the more sticky the table is so it's just a constant impulse like like this part here but downwards so that way when the ball is fired off it will constantly be stuck to the bottom of the table and it won't go flying anywhere so no matter how many times it's bump it bumps on these things it will still um it, it will still stay on the table and won't fly off so that's essentially it for the ball um as for these the the bumper um it's pretty simple it's just literally as soon as the ball kind of overlaps um onto the onto the like pop-up bumper then i've made this function down here called bump and what I've done here, it, this is the location of of this bumper down here and, the, and its collision box. And then the location of the actor, right? So whenever they collide, I add another impulse to the ball of 2500. So that way, when it collides with the ball, it will actually bounce off. Um, and I've also made sure that the velocity changes as well. Um, so when they when they collide as well, um, a sound is played, and as well as that, um, in if we go to the mesh of the bumper, there are actually two parts to it. There's this top part, and then there's this bumper mechanical part here. And if I just zoom in here, every time it's collided with, it will actually move down to show that you know just to give it some game feel and the way I've done that is via this here this lerp vector here so it's literally every time it collides it's, it gives that bottom part a new location of minus 70 in the z direction and it will constantly go between these these two values so it starts at zero when it collides it goes to minus 70 then it goes back again and here this is the set intensity of the light on the bumper and that goes from zero to 5000 and back again and this here is the emissive property to, if I just play this again, to the purple part, to the purple material up there. It just sets, it just sets the emissive from 0 to 20 and then back again every single time it collides. So that's why, just thinking, if you just think in terms of a pinball game, um, obviously it seems like there aren't kind of many design considerations to take. But when I started making it, there are a lot of kind of interesting things that I need to look out for. 
and obviously this is this is just as simple as kind of colliding with these things but it'll be interesting when kind of more mechanics are introduced and it'll be interesting to kind of tackle those problems as well so hopefully this has convinced you um that is that is that it is worthwhile but thank you